you know what time it is and today we've got my my interpretation of a slasher film from the 80s i'm going with this striped sweater that reminds me of like a freddy krueger sweater um i would have ripped up my tights but i just don't want to live that life um i added the skirt to make it a little more girly um that kind of gives that school girl running away from the serial killer so in a sense i'm the school girl that's being killed and also freddy cougar who is the killer thank you function of beauty for sponsoring today's video you guys already know that I love Function of Beauty. I've talked about them a couple of times on my channel before, and I'm here to talk about them again. If you guys don't know, Function of Beauty makes customizable shampoo and conditioner, and they also have a separate portion for skincare as well, so you guys can make customizable skincare. With a quick and easy quiz, you guys can answer a bunch of questions that are asking about your hair type and your hair goals. For me, every single time I take the quiz, I actually change up the goals I want because I like seeing the differences. So sometimes I'll pick hydrate, sometimes I'll pick smooth. You guys can pick up to five different hair goals that you want for your hair. These are mine. I really like picking ones that pertain to smoothing or shine um, and definitely length. I love keeping my hair super long. As you can see, my hair is pretty long. Um, so I always pick length in so I can have Rapunzel hair. I actually don't have an oily scalp. I actually have a pretty dry scalp leading to dandruff. So I usually pick something that revolves with hydrating. I don't choose anything about oil control or anything like that because I usually have struggles with dryness and not oiliness. I always pick pink for the color because I just love the way it looks in my bathroom. And usually with the scent, I always pick strong because if you pick strong, you are getting strong and your hair will just latch onto the scent and you'll walk by people and people will be like oh my god what does that smell and i'll be like it's function of beauty i've tried a bunch of fragrances from function of beauty i've tried the vanilla one i've tried the peach one i've tried the eucalyptus and mint one and i think my favorite has to be their citrus scents i really love the way they stick and how they uh, like just engulf me in their scents throughout the day um so that's gotta be my favorite another reason why i love function beauty is that they are clean they have no parabens no gmos they are sulfate free they're vegan and cruelty free with function of beauty you get to know the ingredients you're using and know that they are clean and that you are putting clean products into your scalp as you guys know this is my hair this is what it looks like um i've been using function of beauty for um, I would say about a year or two. I know my hair doesn't look anything crazy right now, but because I didn't do it, I didn't curl it, but this is what it looks This is natural. This is how my hair looks. I didn't style it. I took a shower um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I don't have, I have really straight hair, so this is what it looks like after a shower. Make sure you guys click the link in my description to get 20% off your Function of Beauty order. Thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. So a few of y'all requested this, and since I am a slave to request, um, I will be doing it. And not only that, I just really want to watch this. this. This seems like a great concept that Netflix is putting out there, a trilogy that's released within the same month. If you don't know what Fear Street is, Fear Street is a trilogy that consists of three parts. There is Fear Street 1994, there is Fear Street 191768, and then there is Fear Street 1666. That'll be $2.95. Thank you for shopping at B. Dalton's. And have a nice night. Is she getting typecasted? Because <laughs> her two most famous roles are this and Stranger Things, and she plays like the same character. This is a sexy song. Bright neon colors in horror movies is what oh, I love. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was violent. Why would he ever do that? <laughs> oh, you know what? This is more of the jump scare stuff that actually scares me. Who was that little zoomer? They were just zooming away and back. Oh my god, I cannot watch this, guys. I cannot watch this. I'm scared. I'm really scared. This is the scariest place to be. Oh, that's it. Right there. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> How much would I bet it's Ryan? Ryan. Ryan. I bet it's Ryan. Oh. I'm a genius. Of course I'm a genius. Oh, if I had to die right next to my killer. Ooh. The afterlife sure would be hell for whoever's in it with me. But among locals, a history of horror has earned it another nickname. Killer Capital USA. Uh, not even a pun on Shady Side. Slaughter Side could be a fun play on words. Killer Capital USA. That is so boring, so long. It's not even fun and quirky. Yeah! Um... No wonder why this fucking like no wonder why all these people turn into murderers because like they literally just make fun of the people who died and they're like it's a witch it's like even if it was a witch they still died that was a big ass grab like that was like a two handed uh, like dive into the cheeks here A cheerleader and a band geek? I love that. I think that's a great trope. Is this my stuff? Ding, ding, ding. Ding dong, the witch is dead, more like. That's the girl from Panic. Um, I, f I think her name is Olivia. She's from Panic, and I actually like that show. You guys should watch it. It's on Amazon Prime. I hope we get a... Season two, baby. I didn't have a choice. Oh, come on. You just couldn't wait to start your new fake life with your fake ass mom. I am half an hour away. <laughs> it might as well be the goddamn moon and you know it. <laughs> Don't, I'm not a fan of Dina right now because you just couldn't wait to leave your fake life with your fake ass mom in Sunnyvale. Girl, I'm half an hour away. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? She literally acts like she moved across country. And she's like, my parents got divorced. What do you want from me? What do you want me to say to that? Like, I find it comical that Dina is so upset. Why is she so upset? Sam. This is the soil that it happened on. Are you okay? I'm sorry. Stay away from her, you bull like freak. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I can't believe you're wearing that. I can't believe you're above wearing it when you're in the middle of the fucking woods and dead maniacs are after us. Yeah, way to get on your high horse about that. That's a weird time to get on your high horse about... Oh no. An ode to Blair Witch Project is... It's unsettling for me because I've never watched Blair Witch Project. No! Oh my god! What the fuck is that? That is a scarecrow, man. Alright, we have to decontaminate. You can have any of Sam's blood on you. Oh, not much I can do about that. We need to mask her scent. Oh my god. Sam is like the Bella of this story. Her blood is basically like drugs to this witch. Everyone who wants that blood. It's giving Twilight for sure. We need a wolf to cover up her scent. I was scared of this, of us. Of me. You're a lesbian witch and that's okay. We could accept both parts of yourself and your identity. It's no big deal. You're born this way. You were born a witch and a lesbian and that's okay. There's no need to feel ashamed of either of those parts of you. I know I, I usually get really, I roll my eyes at a little sex scene in the middle of a horror movie or in a crisis, but I'll let it slide because they're finally making up and I appreciate that. So they're all going to have sex with themselves? I meant he's going to masturbate gonna and they're going to have, you know what? I gotta find the beauty in a sex scene right in the middle of a crisis as a witch is after you a witch who's possessing serial killers is after you i think i've gotta appreciate that so they had enough time to go to pound town and also set this whole booby trap up 
seems a little bit unrealistic to me, but you know, I'm not in Shadyville or Shady Side or Shady Village. I don't know. Such a triple homicide, they're all coming in to kill. That one is so scary. He looks like Scarecrow from Batman, and I always thought Scarecrow from Batman was scary. It's like they're blind. It's giving very much quiet place. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Gun-free school zone. Gotta love that. You gotta clarify. Don't you love American culture? American core culture. Gun-free zone poster. Oh shit, burn in hell, along with your homies. Ew, that is the same thing that happens in the Mortal Instruments City of Bones movie with Lily Collins, the freaking demon, congeals together. It's disgusting. <gasps> I hope it's just Sarah at this point. She's doing a lot of cosplaying at this moment, and I hope she just comes back as herself. Be yourself. She's fucked. They're coming for her. She's got some posture, girl. <laughs> Did you see her neck? She was like... Literally, what is this d guy doing? You gotta hate the cop in a horror movie. They never end up helping, and they always end up dying in the most pathetic way. Because you and we are the way out. When this is all over, I am gonna take you on a date. <laughs> why does she talk like that? Um, why does she deliver her lines like that? It's very distracting that she's tensing her jaw so much and she's pushing it forward. So it's like her teeth are like this. And it's like, I am gonna take you out after we get out of this. And, and why is she delivering her lines like that? Because she doesn't talk like that all the time. She just talks like that when she's having like a little bit more of an angry or emotional scene. She pushes out her jaw and she's like, I am gonna take you out after this. And I don't know why she does it. Because she doesn't do that every single time she talks. She only does it in those scenes. One, one thing I have to say about this film is their location choices are superb. Superb. You got a hospital, you got a mall, you got a grocery store, you got a school. I think those are really good places for like horror scenes to happen and especially their choice of neon lighting. I know it's pretty like common nowadays, but I think it's really good. Like it just looks so spooky and I love it. I think they did a great job. Like aesthetically this film is giving what it needs to give. the same song switch it up switch it up she's not even that good at singing you're gonna be known as the killer that sings while she kills people and you're not even gonna be good at it embarrassing <laughs> embarrassing to me could not be me it's on the other side babe it's on the other side babe <laughs> oh fuck you what the fuck she's strong Stronger than this little boy. I love seeing strong, confident women in film. Dang, I would fucking hate to be up against this guy. Like, he's so fast and for what? Like, he's just going at, like, too, too high of a speed for me. Oh, no! Aw, I liked her. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What is that? Oh! <gasps> A bread slicer! A bread slicer! Oh my- Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Her head got sliced through a bread slicer. I have to point out that I don't think a bread slicer is that sh strong to get through skull. It's to slice bread. Bread isn't that hard. But, you know what? Hey. It's fiction. Oh, when she dies just right in time. They just disappeared? Are you kidding me? I can't believe Kate got her head sliced. Like, sliced through a bread slicer. How does that even happen? Like, I just don't think the bread slicer is strong enough to cut through skull like that. Like, I feel like your skull would break 
the bread slicer. I mean, maybe I don't know enough about bread slicers, but it seemed like the thin ones, it seemed like the thin strings of saw, not the thick, big old knives. What more can you ask for? Great neon lighting, classic horror tropes, and a lesbian couple that actually ends up happy and together at the end of it? One coming back from the dead? Gotta love that. Are there complaints? Not for me. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that because she already died and came back to life once. Are we allowed to do that again? Are we allowed to do that again? Also, it's giving me very much Teen Wolf. It's giving like the whole fly thing reminds me a lot of the Nugitsune season 3B plot where the fly comes around um, and that's how they end up capturing them at the end is they encapture the fly. I'm a thousand years old. You can't kill me. Love that scene. Love that scene so much. It's giving me vibes of that possession. This was definitely scary. I was spooked for a bit of it. Like, honestly, it was a little bit boring. It's a bit too long, in my opinion. An hour and 47 minutes isn't that long of a movie, but I felt like for this plot, it was a bit long. I felt like we kind of had some scenes that were just kind of like do-overs. Um, like the two scenes, the school and then the grocery store scene. Uh, I feel like they should have at least set up something different because I feel like we kind of went through the same thing. If that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just wish there was a little bit more of a difference, a little bit of juxtaposition between um, those two acts. I feel like it would have given the film a little bit more oomph and would have made the extra time more understandable for me. But I do think a lot of the time it was kind of dragged out like I feel like there could have been a few scenes deleted out of it to make it like an even one one hour and 30 minute film this is 1978 and you know what we are wearing today we are wearing what I would wear if I was at a camp um I have these soft shorts these are from Aerie this cropped uh tank top this is from Brandy um, they're not the same greens, but I thought they kind of looked cute together. They're kind of giving camp vibes. Um, I just have socks on because why would I wear shoes right now? These earrings, um, they're both from Urban, but they're from two different sets. And I put them together because they gave me like... Before I press play, Sadie Sink is in this. I love Sadie Sink. I think she's going to be uh, a hit Netflix girl. She already is a hit Netflix girl. I hope she um, gets more deals outside of Netflix. I, I don't know why I'm saying that. She's only done two things with Netflix, Stranger Things and this, but I really love her. I just think she is such a talented little actress. <laughs> Okay, I'm so sorry, but if a witch can possess all these people, why would rope stop them? I'm so sorry. I just feel like that's unrealistic for a witch to be tied down by some rope. Summer 1978, the first day of camp. A week later, my sister was dead. Why does she still live in that town? <laughs> She's so traumatized, yet she still lives there. Girl, move out. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? You're gonna hang, witch. Oh my god, is that the bitch from Cruel Summer? Oh my god, she is the worst. And everything, why is she, why is she always the bad guy? No, let me down, you shit! Let me down! Jeanette, you are awful in every single thing you're in. But she would have died forever if you did what you always do to witches. You burn them. Balenciaga! Give me now hold your legs! Seriously, Sheila? Do it! Oh my god, she's insane. Middle schoolers are so no, no, stop, rude. Stop, stop, and for what? Stop! Stop! You! Shut up, you witch! Sheila, you made your point. Look, everyone's Don't. like, you're going too far. Oh no. It was only 10 bucks. You are literally crazy. All right. One more strike, and you're out for real. You hear me, Berman? Oh, wow, I'm gonna kick some ass. They literally beat her up and burned her arm, and they're like, you're out. Um, I would commit crimes. That's just not okay for rescuing poor, helpless, shady cider me. How could I ever repay you? Oh, he's the cop. Ew. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever been to camp? I've never been to camp. Never like this. It looks kind of fun, but after seeing this many camp 
horror films. I just, I can't participate in that. Only Cindy Berman. Oh wait, that's Cindy Berman? I thought Sadie Sink was Sydney Berman. Um, what was that? That's a, that's a rough sex. What are you doing? Three guesses. Hey, careful. We don't want to corrupt her virgin. I love it that they have to, it's always like a weird thing to insinuate that someone's a virgin in one of these movies. Like they have to point it out because they want her to be the one to survive. But it's always like, give it a rest, virgin. And it's like, I love that. I think it's like so obvious that they're just trying to say that she's the one that survives, but we already know she's the one that survives. You know about my daughter, right? Ruby Lane. Oh, I should have caught the last name. I should have caught the last name. That was on me, y'all. That was on me. Y'all need to get out of this town. I don't know why. Okay. I understand why people stay in some towns, like, because they don't have no other option, but a lot of them just stay. Like, most of the people that have been traumatized by this freaking witch just stay. Even the ones that know about the witch. They're like, I'll stay. The switch muslin people I have found usually kill for a reason, and sometimes that reason is justified. Sometimes She's like, I literally can't feel my hands anymore. Sometimes it's not They're saying it's kind of hurting me. Sometimes it is good. Nurse Lane! Okay, Nurse Lane, maybe you're getting possessed. Don't become obsessed with witches, because news is, you'll... Like, open a portal to them. Shit! Did Cindy Berman just swear? I love it when they say that in horror movies. They say it, like, anytime the virgin swears. Because she gets, like, upset. Or she's like, can you guys just stop making fucking fun of me? And then they're like, oh my god. And then she's the one that survives at the end. So, joke's on you. I do think that horror films have perpetuated the virginity construct whether they like it or not, they kind of perpetuate old traditional values that if you're a virgin, you'll survive. And if you're a virgin, like God rewards you by not having you have this brutal fate. Now, do I think everyone is doing that now? No, I think it's just a funny formula that people stick to. It's like the whore dies first, the jock dies second, the stoner dies, and then the virgin is the one that ends up living at the end but I can't save you. The fly! I saw your name. What? I saw it on the wall. What are, what are you talking about? Whoa. She's like, I'm doing you a favor, just like, hold on. Oh my God, fighting with an old lady. Would you want to die at the hands of someone who pleads and tells you that you are gonna die tonight either way, or would you like to just see what happens? Me, I would like to see what happens, you know? Well, he was a beast knowing one day you'd be following in his footsteps. Chef Nick Good's got a good ring to it. Yo, I hate that motherfucker. I hate Nick Good. Yo, fuck him. He did nothing. He did nothing. He sat there and he did nothing. But who cares? Why would Nurse Mary want to do something like that? Why would she, why would she want me dead? Oh, no, she wouldn't. But, but the witch, witch might. <laughs> No, this is why they keep dying, because everyone's just making fun of the witch. No wonder why she would want to haunt the fucking town, because all you guys just make fun of her. He might be dumb, but he's kind of shagadelic. What does that mean? What does shagadelic mean? <laughs> They're just rolling a blunt right at the right at the lunch table, man. You gotta love that. Tonight's first event. I think he's kind of cute. He's kind of mean and he's a dick, but cutie. Because even if we lose, we're still winners in our hearts. Wow, Sunny Vales, they're, they're just, I think maybe a little um, classist. I'm getting very classist, racist vibes from Sunny Vale. Makes sense to me. I'm trying to understand what happened today. Who cares, it's over. It wasn't real, who cares? Don't say that. Please don't say that. It, it, it was real to me. The best part of my life was fake. And, and none of you told me. But you're not my sister. Then who am I? A monster. That's a bit dramatic. That's what they say. Why do they think this girl is a monster? First of all, the bullies are just being bullies. Second of all, I think both of those girlies, the sisters, were being... 
a little bit dramatic. A little bit dramatic. I think Ziggy was being a little bit dramatic of the whole curse. And I think Cindy was being a little bit dramatic. She called her sister a monster because she was like, you're annoying and you won't make it out of this town. Scarring the soil beneath with the witch's mark, bringing darkness upon the land. It's giving Roanoke vibes for sure. Roanoke, witches, not so much Coven because I think Coven is way better, like extremely better than Roanoke. So it's giving Roanoke for sure. Go away, Cindy. Nick, Nick. Ew. Nick the cop. Go away, Nick. What's your idea? Science and nature. What? What does that mean? I'm science and nature. Chemical burns? You are insane. That's too far. You've gone too far at this point. Acid? You mean acid? And not the fun kind. Tommy? Oh! Lordy, name of mercy! Holy shit! That was graphic. Oh, what a kooky coincidence that it just happened to fall down and protect them. Well, At least we can get some satisfaction after watching Cruel Summer of her getting a little bit of revenge in this. She gets a little bit, she gets a little bit of hell in this. So. Ew! That is so, that is violent. Oh my God. And they locked her in? That is rude. Deserved. <laughs> Deserved, totally. Very satisfying. Wish she got that, wish she got that in Cruel Summer. Please just, just help me. What, you're just gonna pretend that everything's okay? Well, obviously not everything's okay. That's why I'm trying to get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing's okay. That's why I'm trying to get us to safety. Split. Arnie's head in half. Technically not. He bashed in the front. It did not split in half. There was two big chops into the face right here and right here. There we go. That's the Cindy Berman I knew. Okay, we need to stop referencing the old Cindy Berman. I don't I don't care if she was fun. I don't care if she was fun in the past. I'm interested in the witch. I'm interested in the witch right now. I don't give a shit that she's still a virgin. Yeah, I just thought, you know, since since we're all in here and in jail that you might want some refreshments, but uh do you guys like uh you guys like charades? Shut the fuck up, nerd. Okay, just trying to make the make jail time a little bit more exciting for you, a little bit more entertaining for you. Just a little bit more fun because this is a game after all. It's literally a game and I was going to try to have fun here. So fuck off. You know what I like about you? Nothing. Now fuck off. Um, what was that? Tommy? Tommy? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so dumb. I literally just realized that he was the scarecrow thing from earlier. Because he's an axe. Uh, he's an axe man. <laughs> I'm a little slow. You, like Stephen King, and spiders, and the weird girl from Shadyside. Stephen King? It's like super popular. Yeah, why did you say that? She's like, you, you're the kid who likes Stephen King and spiders, and you'll never tell anyone because that's just too weird. Being the heir apparent isn't always easy either. Oh, that is just like, you just... You just like should not say that to someone. You just should not say that to someone because obviously Shady Side is very much just hated by Sunny Valers. It's just like very much not the same thing. You know, being an heir isn't easy either. And she's like, literally, my town is cursed. What are we not getting? What are we not getting? This guy's classist. And he doesn't understand simple things. Being an heir, oh, it's not so easy. She literally, like, she's about to lose her house. You don't get to say that. That's just like not okay. Why does she like him? He's an asshole. He's not cute or fun. Like not saying his looks, like he's his personality, not cute or fun. They heard the bell, hey, hey. But my sister, she's still out there. Oh, you have the same sister you've hated since you were a baby? Look. Why did he say that? 
oh, the sisters you've hated since you were a baby? Uh, yeah, I, I hate her. I don't want her to die. You are an idiot. This guy is ass. I hate him. Tommy. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I feel like the axe is just so graphic. It's just like you cannot get more graphic than that. It's so disturbing to watch. I got new friends. I started dressing like this. This town, this place it was cursed. She really thought if she could put on a polo, she would avoid the curse. That is delusional. You cannot avoid a witch curse by putting on vineyard vines. It's not realistic to me. It's not realistic at all. And it's not just because they're awesome. We all have our ways to deal with shady. Was that necessary to add? We all have our ways to deal with shady side. It just shows self-harm. I just think that's really unnecessary and it's not the serve you think it is. It's a horror movie with witch curse. I don't want to see that. It's very much of American horror story type of thing to do, and I don't like it. No, no, it's not some psycho. It's Tommy. My sister's perfect, virgin, boring boyfriend, Tommy. Just because someone's a virgin does not mean they're perfect. I'm so sorry. Virgins can be killers too. Ever think about that? Most virgins, probably a lot of people become killers because they're virgins, because they are insane and weak. Ever think about that? I do like the weirdo from Shady Side, and I was thinking that maybe once we got out of this, we could uh, we could start a book club. It's talking about a book club right now. Talking about a book club right now. Talking about a book club right now. In the middle of this. In the middle of this. Are you kidding me? Do you think if you kill the fly that they'll not? They won't be possessed anymore? Because I feel like no one's thinking of that. Maybe I'm just a little different. Because I've been thinking that the entire time. Don't you cry no more. It's a good trick to put on something loud so that they can't hear where you're going. Because the silence is what like gives them away most of the time. <laughs> oh, that's where it's from. That's where he gets the burlap sack. What a, what a neat little trick to do. What a neat little trick. I love that. Oh, and now she can kill him because she can't see his face. Girl, you can't even see his face. That's, that makes it so much easier because you can't see his face. Duh. Now I know you were right. Everything is cursed. Character development and believing in curses by the end of the movie is superb. It's very much superb. It's um, it's the best development ever. It took a lot of people dying for her to believe in the curse. I just have to say that. It took a lot of people dying. A lot of people dying for her to believe her sister. I'm just saying. We have to bury this thing right fucking now. Do you think after like that many years, Sarah Fears would like let it go? Like she's kind of petty for that. You know what I mean? Like a little bit petty. No, you're staying here. Come on, I can hop just fine. I watched my dad go to jail when I was six. Why? Why are we saying that? Waited my whole fucking life for this. That was weird. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't like it that they added her emotional scene right there. Like, I've waited my whole fucking life for this. I wish they would have added that, uh, her character reveal all in one spot. Um, when she was talking to Cindy and she was like showing her her scars, I think that would have been a much better timing to put it at. This was kind of like mm, annoying. Like, it was, it just like, it wasn't good timing because she was like, oh, like stay, like you're obviously injured. And she's like, I watched my dad go to jail when I was six. <sighs> Jump scare, honestly, that was, a, that was a left turn have a little bit of better writing timing because that was not good. <laughs> not good at all. Wow, right after she just told us her life story. Oh, she resurrected that singing bitch. Yo, fuck this, fuck this singing. 
it's like, okay, witch, if your original possession didn't work out, don't just come out of left field with all this shit and bring out your old serial killers to finish the deal. Like, if you can't get it to work, sorry, that's on you. You failed. <laughs> Like, Tommy didn't succeed, so you resurrected three fucking more? Ah, petty. Honestly, petty. These people beat your first serial killer, and now you're like, let me add three more. Out of spite? They won. Sore loser, if I've ever seen one. She's a good fighter, though. She's had to kill this motherfucker, like, three times. Um, no, wait, who the fuck are you? You're not even one of the killers that we remember. You're not even Ruby. Oh my god. This bitch got, like, axed like 10 million times and she still lived. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. That's overkill. At this point, it's overkill. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. That was really sad to watch. He lived? How did he live? How the hell did he live? Babe. That's a lot of stab wounds. I don't think CPR is gonna bring her back to life. She got her stomach sliced open and stabbed too many times. He's sick and twisted. He just wanted to do that to kiss her. That is a plot twist, hey, babe. Mean? So I was right in the beginning. I was literally right in the beginning. How did she survive? Her real name, Christine Burma. You're confusing me. That's why they only said C. Burma over earlier. Tommy Slater. Crazy. Yeah, the worst. As I said from the beginning, the worst. He does nothing. He sat there and did nothing. He didn't even help them at all. He didn't help anyone to safety. I, I don't feel like the riddle is real. At this point, I feel like the riddle of getting her hand back to the body and then she'll leave the- so you won't- the town won't be cursed anymore. I don't think that's real. I think that's more of a thing to be resurrected because she can't resurrect her body without her full body. I think she wants her hand. Maybe I'm- creative but <laughs> maybe i'm just a creative writer at this point hey uh nikki you there fuck fuck him yeah you know I'll what i like about you nothing now fuck off you fucking bitch like he's not a good character he did nothing in the first movie and he was a bitch in the second i like this one better than the first one i thought it was a little bit well like better put together and it was a little bit more of an interesting storyline i don't know i love a camp slasher film one of the ones that i just watched recently was cabin cabin in the woods and i really loved it that wasn't camp but it was like more of that cabin style which i really liked and um i just watched final girls which uh was also a camp set horror movie and that was like really fun i just think they're very fun movies to interact with um sadie sink queen carrie honestly carrie good for her i was gonna try to match my outfit to this movie so 1666 i was gonna do something white something like more old-fashioned kind of that witch salem aesthetic but i just don't have anything in my closet um i have a dress but it's ugly and it looks like a curtain so i cannot but i'm just wearing this white t-shirt thought it was white and flowy and but i did do my hair in braids because they all seem to have braids in their hair um which i think is really cute um so i just did two french braids and i put them into little pigtails because I thought it was pretty cute. Um, this one is inspired by Sadie's hairstyle in it because I looked at the pictures of it and she had this, she had two braids right here and I think they went into a single ponytail, not two, but I like the way two looks better on me. So yeah, that's, that's all I have. Again, I'm sorry for the, again, I'm sorry for the fan noise. I have a fan on right there. It's too hot here. I, it's, God, it happened. It's too hot. 
I do like the idea of going all the way back, all the way back to the origins of the legends that they're telling. I think it's a very immersive story that makes you more interested. I don't know. Usually I feel like everyone's just like, they reference the old story, the old tale, and then they never open it up. And I love it that they're actually delving into the origins of the story and what actually happened. It makes it, oh, are those like tripping berries? They get them mixed up with poisonous berries. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know why this is funny, but it's really funny to me. Lesbian sex in the 1600s? Lesbian witch sex in the 1600s. Never thought I'd see it in my days. Never thought I'd see it in my days. So Sarah Fields was a lesbian and she only possesses lesbians. Everyone she possessed was a lesbian. Oh my God, plot twist, they didn't hang her because she was a witch, they hung her because she was gay. That makes more sense. She suspects our wickedness. <laughs> yeah, it is. Lesbian wickedness, I'll tell you that. It's wicked. It's wicked cool. And now father is sick. Do you think, did we cause it? You guys think lesbian sex is that powerful that it can possess someone? The devil has come and cast his darkness over us. You really believe that the devil would come over one little girly kissing another girly? <laughs> it's so quiet in there. What soundproof walls they have in the 1600s. <laughs> like they can not hear any of that. <laughs> Those are eyeballs. Oh, this was the story in the beginning. I should have remembered he took out the kid's eyeballs. Man, I just forget things too easily what's wrong with me some of us in the woods but there was no they're really gonna think that their children got their eyeballs pulled out from them because two girls kissed oh my goodness i cannot believe i cannot believe this i searched the woods it does not extend beyond the settlement you know what this reminds me of the red riding hood the red riding hood specifically starring amanda seyfried seyfried Sy 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 um, yeah, her. It reminds me of that movie. No, or you, or any of you. I have proof. Why are the wigs so bad? Get better wigs. They don't Just look good. He made me watch as she lay with the devil. Hannah Miller and Sarah Fear. No. no. And Sarah Fear. I saw Hannah Miller. I saw you guys Hannah have Miller. never seen them. You guys have never seen them. They think they're witches because they're gay. Oh my god. Oh my god. He goes, do any of you guys have proof? And he goes, I have proof. There was no proof to be found. He said he saw, basically he said that when he, realistic part of it was that he tried to have sex with her and she said no. And he said that she lured him into the woods naked while she li lay, she lied with the devil. But he didn't have any proof. The proof would be the freaking crown that she was wearing that was on the stone. That would have been proof. There's plot holes, babe. There are, there are many plot holes, babe, because literally I thought the proof was going to be the headband, the little, the little crown, the flower crown. And he was just like... Oh, I mean, I get it that he would lie because he's ass and he's like, oh, rejection. Blech. But like, there was a completely plot. There was a plot right there. They, they they set up the plot. They handed it to me. They went here. That's the proof. And then they just did not say it. It's much more exciting when the person they're trying to find is a wolf. I'm going to be honest. It's much more exciting when they're trying to find the big bad wolf. It's not fun when they're just trying to find a lesbian. Because... Is she that dangerous? No. She's like, if I was a witch, why would I possess someone to kill my own brother? Why didn't anyone think about that? Her brother died too. Why would, if she was a witch, why would you do that? Everyone needs to use their minds because I feel like I'm the only one here using my mind. Really, I'm the only one here that is using it. Oh, she still has that posture. She still be hunching over, even in the 1600s, babe. They want a witch. I will kill them, witch. 
Yes, I love that. Good for you. Good for you. If you want a witch, I'll give you a witch. If you want a killer, I'll give you a killer. I'll give you demon. I'll give you the devil if you want the devil. Solomon, I swear it. It wasn't me. He's like, you're right. It was me. Do you think it's gonna be him? I knew it was him. Oh my God, I knew it was him. He's like, I know you didn't summon the devil because I did. <laughs> Fuck you. Lucifer. Would you be scared if you were filming this? Because I'd be scared if I was filming this and I accidentally did it just because I said stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like if I was just saying it for a movie, I'd be scared. Price to pay. One person. He was like, I wasn't expecting them to do that. <laughs> he was like, I wasn't expecting him to do that. One person every few years seems a small price to pay. Dude, I hate this man in every single era. He is the worst man in every single era that he's in. Like, shut the fuck up. You are annoying. I never liked you. I never thought you were funny or entertaining. I just thought you were annoying. My brother, innocence. Innocence. Who's innocent? But they were children. They were innocent. They didn't do anything. They literally didn't do anything. Those are innocents. Children. Um, are you kidding me? He just sliced off her hand. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That's so very disturbing to watch but also dang the riddles got it wrong the riddles got it all wrong she did not cut off her own hand the riddles are stupid never believe a riddle oh my god motherfucker fuck this motherfucker in every single area fuck this guy he's the worst he never gets better i will show them what you've done Seems like she kind of just did it. She gave more. Like, she made everyone else his life hell. Like, I don't think he got the worst of it. I think the people who died got the worst of it in those massacres she possessed people to do. Is it Girl Boss? Is it Girl Boss that she haunted the land after she got accused of witchery for being a lesbian? Is that Girl Boss? I can't say I can't I can't say that I'm totally against her. I cannot say that at all. Oh, maybe I just was person. not paying attention what? this whole time. Takes over that person. What? Then that person kills and murders. So, um I am really dumb i'm really dumb because i did not get that ah uh, it's so upsetting when i'm like it's so upsetting when i'm caught being dumb on camera and i have to include it like i can't leave that out like i have to include it but it's so embarrassing so he's the one that's making the like he's killing people he's like have that one and have that one he's writing the names and like you can have this one and you can have this one so what was he doing in the 78 because he was only like a child he was like probably only in his like he was probably only like 16 or 17 and he was giving up all those people why does he work in shady side because he has to keep continuing the deals with the devil because that's the only place he can get power. Oh, that's the only place he can be a sheriff and get power is because that's the land that was given to him. The Solomon said, one person every few years for all of this? Just like was not one person. Like all the curses, all the people that have like had these issues, like they kill bunches of, like they kill like a lot of people. They don't kill one person. So it's not just one person every so few few years that they're sacrificing. They're sacrificing many, many people. This is how we saved Sam. And that's how he, he uh, that's how she didn't die time. because he made a deal with the devil so he could get what he wanted. And he how wanted her to stay alive. Side. Being the heir yeah, fuck that motherfucker. Easy. He's like, I can't possibly like Stephen King and spiders being an heir, but I can sure make a deal with the devil. Want to help us kill Sheriff Good? Let me get my coat. 
As the Mars leak is still that was funny. Engineer. That was a good. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one, guys. That was a good one. I loved it. As he should. He should have so much resentment against Sheriff Good. Sheriff Good was just. He literally arrested him for what vandalism or like something like that. Oh, rude. I don't even think he did it. Down, down. Left, right, left, right. B A start. What? It's a code for extra lives, and that helps me. I don't know to survive. I think that actually might be one of the cutest things, like of those goodbye speeches that they have done throughout this entire, entire trilogy. Was that right there? I thought that was actually really cute. Maybe people think it's cringy, but I thought it was really cute, and I thought that it was um, a fresh way to liven up that cheesy goodbye moment before they go into a fight i think that's really done well out of all the goodbye things they've done throughout the trilogy that one was the best because they've done a lot but that one was the best for not that many montage scenes in the movie that one was my favorite um the song was really good it was a really good song choice and uh, I think the methods that they are using to trap him are the most interesting, which uh, it makes it more sense now because in the beginning I was kind of like, these are kind of lame, but now these are kind of like, it's way more interesting. And so they saved the best for last, which kind of like makes me go back on what I said earlier because I criticize a lot of their trap sequences because I was like, this is stupid. I got to say my least favorite ones, the ones that are least scary, the skull face, Ruby Lane. The rest are pretty scary, in my opinion. I'm so confused. So they have the ability to not die. They're invincible. They can come back to life after you've killed them, but they can't fucking open a fucking cage. Oh my God, Twilight. You are giving me a Twilight moment right now. When Twilight literally comes back on Netflix, you're giving me a Twilight moment right here. You are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? shaking in his boots he is shaking in his boots right now this is gonna work right so demons are just so stupid that they just kill each other so the devil is really like easy to trick i guess at least this one is because they're just about blood who would have thought guys Finally, I, I knew she was gonna get out of those fucking- I knew she was gonna get out of the fucking ropes eventually. Like, why was she be- why was she able to stay in it for that long? The shit makes the front page. Local dyke slays girlfriend. Friends. Pause. Was it necessary to say that? First of all, was it necessary? And second of all, does he not know that he is literally known as the person who's the sheriff of the town that has the most serial killers? Like, does he not realize his reputation sucks ass? Like, what is it not clicking here? That, like, the deal he made with the devil sucks ass. Because, sure, he's the sheriff, but his pay... It's not power and money, baby. It's not power and fame. It's not power. You you got the short end of the stick with the deal with the devil. <laughs> That's so stupid. As you should. She cursed you and she she wasn't even a witch and she still did it. She still cursed him. Let you go. Oh shit. They literally poofed into flies just like ready or not when they burst into pieces at the end. I know they are so stinky. I know they are incredibly stinky right now and they just made out and I know their breath stinks and they just had a big old makeout sesh. They are stink McGee. But the thing is, is like, is that really true? Because like, it's not just him, right? Like the other goods, like there's still a good bloodline. Like, it didn't end with him. He wasn't the last good to exist. It's still his brother, and there's still the children that his brother had, because his brother was the mayor. That's why I'm confused, is because he wasn't the last of the good bloodline. Lesbians own horror melodies. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, you think you're gonna survive a 
horror movie and you're not a lesbian, get the fuck out. Get fucked. I'm deciding which one is my favorite between 1960 or I'm deciding which one is my favorite between this one, 1666 and 1978. I think I have to go with this one. I love the way it wraps it up. Um, I like it that it incorporates kind of all the stories in it. I think it's very interesting. It kept me a little bit more interested in what was going on than the past two. Um, so I, maybe I'm, maybe you guys will not like me if I say that this was my favorite, but it was my favorite. I thought it was the most entertaining. It was the most engaging. Uh, I feel like, I feel like 78, I kind of got bored at some points. I love it that they featured Dina and Sam throughout the entire thing. I thought that was really good. I know we lost some of it in the middle one, but I think it wraps it up really well. I was really excited to see that neither of them died. I was going to be really really disappointed if they did because I feel like that would have been I don't know just sad and cliche love the twist thought it was a great twist did not see it coming like if you told me that would have happened before I like it while I was watching like the second the beginning of the second movie I would not have known the only question I have is the continuation of the good line because the family bloodline doesn't end with Nick he was the one that was in control of it that was like doing it but if it was such a bloodline thing, then it would just go on to his brother or the brother's sons or whatever. Like it would just go down the line, right? It wouldn't just stop with him. So I think I would probably rank it uh, 1666, 1978, and then 1994. Um, but all of them are really good. They're really good together. It's almost like watching a long show. I feel like they could have easily made this into a a episode show, but I really liked it that they chose to do a trilogy rather than a show because I feel like Netflix kind of falls into that original show type thing and then like original standalone movies. Um, not saying that they don't have trilogies because they do. I did really like this concept that they're doing and I really like it that they're getting into horror and I really like it that this was actually good and it wasn't, I thought everyone was overhyping it. I was like, there's no way it can be that good. I'm not saying it's the most greatest thing I've ever watched. I still had problems with it, but it was really fun and entertaining. And I'm really excited to see that Netflix is going into more of a slasher horror genre rather than their typical like um, more drama horror category that they usually go into. If you guys liked watching the Fear Street trilogy with me, make sure you guys leave a comment telling me, telling me which one was your favorite, which part did you like the most? and you know what stood out to you i love reading your comments about the things i watch they make it so much more interesting and so much more interactive when this video comes out i'll definitely be responding to you guys in the comment section down below so make sure you guys go comment and don't forget to share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it and you had a little chuckle with me you guys can follow me on instagram and twitter and make sure you turn on the notifications bell as well so you guys can be the first one to watch my videos when they come out thank you for sitting and watching the fear street trilogy with me and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye!